So today I'm going to show you how to disassemble your Dell XPS 15, 9500, 9510 and 9520. All you need is a Philips anti 5 torque screwdrivers, tweezers and a plastic pry tool. I'll put the links to all the stuff down below in the description. Ok, so let's go ahead and start by removing these 8 screws that hold the base cover to the casing. Now with those screws removed, you're going to need a spudger or any plastic opening tool to pry open the cover. Starting from the bottom left corner, carefully pry the base cover in the direction of the arrows. Don't pull or pry the cover at the side where the hinges are located, because it may damage the cover. Finally grab the left and the right sides of the cover and lift it up and out of the case. By the way, I also have a video on how to upgrade your Dell XPS 9500, 9510 or 9520 to its maximum. And I also have a video on how to replace thermal paste and clean the cooling system. I'll put the links at the end of this video. Before you start working inside the computer, I'd suggest disconnecting the battery, especially if you're not confident in your skills. Next, we need to remove the fans. Disconnect the fan cable from the board, then remove these two screws and slide the fan out of the heatsink, like so. To remove the left fan, you need to disconnect the cable, then remove these two screws and this metal shield. Finally remove the screw and slide the fan out of the heatsink. Once that's done, we can start removing the heatsink. In the reverse order, as indicated on the heatsink, loosen the four captive screws and remove the heatsink from the board. Next, we need to remove these 8 screws that secure the battery to the palm rest assembly, and then flip the battery over. Next, we need to disconnect all the cables and remove the brackets. Let's start with removing wireless card bracket, and then disconnect the antenna cables. Next, disconnect the input-output board cable from the system board and remove the USB-C bracket. Peel the tape off and disconnect the speaker cable from the board. Next, we need to remove the display cable bracket. Carefully disconnect both cables and then remove the two screws that secure the display cable holder. Remove the two screws that secure the USB-C bracket and then disconnect the rest of the cables. Simply open the latch and disconnect the cable from the board. Finally remove the two screws that secure the system board to the palm rest assembly, and then remove the board. Now let's put everything back together. Place the system board into position and secure it with the two screws. Then connect all cables to the board and secure all the brackets with the screws. Now carefully attach the heatsink and in sequential order tighten the screws. Install the fans, connect them to the board and then replace the screws. Connect the battery to the motherboard, put the cover back on and snap it into place by starting from the bottom right corner and then work your way around to the bottom left corner. Finally replace the 8 screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. After your computer is reassembled and powered on, you'll be alerted that the time of day not set. And that's because the battery was disconnected from the motherboard, which resets the BIOS settings to the factory defaults. So you may need to update your BIOS settings, or simply click continue to resume normal functionality. 
So that's it. I hope it was helpful and thank you for watching.